You may not have been wondering about this, but I'm going to show you anyhow. What determines cardinality in the relationship graph? We didn't tell it what to do when we drew the relationships, so how does it know to make that determination that the crow's foot goes over here and doesn't go over here? So we're going to go into Manage Database, and we'll take a look at it. So you can see that we have the one here and the many here, and that's correct. It's correct in every scenario. How does it know? Well, let's go ahead and change it to name to address. And you'll notice right away it's a many-to-many -many relationship as far as what an ERD would consider these crow's feet. So here's one way that differentiates the relationship graph from an ERD. We're not telling it what those crow's feet or cardinality is. It's just doing it based on the definition of the field. And here's how it does it. Let's go to this name field in companies. We'll double click on name and just simply make it a serial number. Boom. There we go. Go to relationships. And you can see now it's a one to many. Or there's another way to do it. I'll uncheck serial number and go to validation and make it unique. Go to the relationship graph and you see the same thing happens. As soon as I take that last choice off, you can see it goes back to a many to many. So all it's doing is thinking, okay, a serial number is unique and the validation to test for uniqueness is on. That's how I determined whether I put a one or a many. And that's really the only way it does it. So we'll go ahead and change it back to the way it was. So it's a serial number to a foreign key. And now it's going to go ahead and look the way we want it to. So that's a neat little understanding of how this whole relationship graph works. And so when you understand and go, oh, that's why it does it, it gives you a deeper understanding of what goes on inside of FileMaker. And when you do that and, and understand it at a, at a, a, you know, a higher level or a lower level, whichever you want to call it, then you're going to be a much better FileMaker programmer. And one of the things you're going to be doing a lot is going in and out of Manage Database. So I've been doing it through the File Menu, Manage Database, but I'd highly recommend, and I've mentioned this before, to learn the keyboard command. On the Macintosh, it's Command-Shift-D. On Windows, it's going to be Control-Shift-D. But that's not the only way to get in there. When you're in layout mode, often you've forgotten to create a field or something or a relationship. And why go you know, back into Manage Database like this? You can just go ahead, in fact, get to any one of the Manage areas. But you can go to Manage Database right here. Or maybe you're in the Field Picker and you don't want to get rid of it. You can click right here and get into Manage Database. Or if you drag a, a field out onto the layout, you can get into Manage Database right here. So there's all kinds of things you can do to get there. Uh, I'm personally, uh, you know, I'm a hybrid guy. I have one hand on the mouse and one on the keyboard, and I can do the Command Shift D with one hand. So for me, that's the easiest way. And then what I go for is what uh, it's kind of in my, you know, in my memory and ingrained in there. And so I don't usually go for the button choices. But if you're more of a mouse person, it might make more sense. So you know, just learn the different ways to get where you're going, and and learn a pattern. And sometimes that pattern isn't as efficient, and you might want to learn a different pattern when you discover something new. So all these tricks will help you be efficient and understand FileMaker better and be a better FileMaker developer.